To the beat of Afro jazz music, defining strokes are being applied to artwork that may end up on display at galleries in Zimbabwe and beyond. All these artists are self-taught and work out of a village Uno, a studio that has been nurturing budding talent since 2009. They gave me like the notes of who to be the artist, how can you be the artist. Though I'm still a student artist, but you know, compared to my generation, uh, I'm kind of maturing in the knowledge I'm getting from village Uno. Village Unu has taken advantage of the doors opened by the country's renowned stone sculptors to help many painters make their big break. The connections and the platforms that they bring, you know, uh, that they introduced me to, uh, the, um, yeah, it was, it was beyond my expectations when I started. I've exhibited in Asia and in, in Europe. Uh, currently, I have an exhibition I'm working towards in, in Paris. The founders of Village Uno want this gallery to achieve two things. Firstly, to change the face of Zimbabwean art by allowing young painters to express themselves in their own unique ways. And secondly, to change the face of the Zimbabwean artist by bringing recognition to an industry that hasn't had its fair share. That's meant striving to get artists the best deals. I, I can safely say we've had 25 artists that have come here and have done great things out there and when we, we meet we, we laugh at each other and we remind each other of the times that we would share uh, half a loaf or something like that and yeah it's been a very good journey I think. The importance of the collaborative setup was felt most during the past two COVID-19 disrupted years. We still tried by all means to keep the doors open because we, were, we, we realized we are a place of refuge. Uh, refuge in the sense that uh, not many people can understand why uh, an artist needs the time to be by themselves in a studio space and to work. Uh, a refuge in also knowing that I'm not the only one. Uh, I'm not the only artist that is going through this kind of phase. Uh, this poem, yeah. As things begin to normalize, more exhibitions will be organized so that some of the artwork that has been produced during the lockdowns can finally be showcased to the public. Farai Makutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.